Mom, that collage looks really good. Thank you, but there are a few things I would change if I was to redo it. That's part of the beauty of a collage. You just don't know. You just don't know. You never know. Like, for instance, there are two pictures. This is going to be the second you one. You want this one on there? Yes. And him and Bill. Right. That's going to have friends and stuff on yeah, it. Yeah, I get it. Is family allowed or? Family's allowed, but I want fun. Yes, Steve. I don't know. You just want, you were just checking out that light. Picture. You look at that picture? Yeah. You need to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> and so here's another picture from like when well, you sicko, that's child. my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and this would make two oh. of when he's a little boy, which really is not with a theme, but I'm like, you know. He was cute. Are you recording? <laughs> so did you ever beat Dad in a race? I didn't have to. I, I, he wasn't that fast. You so you're much more. You're much more athletic than him. Yeah. Yes, I was. But you know what? He could hit a softball a mile, and he had a great arm. He just couldn't run. <laughs> I would say that my favorite memory of Uncle Jack was maybe three days after I met him for the first time. He called me up and he was like, "Hey." I heard you're going camping this weekend, and I was like, I am. So I, he's get over here. So I walked over, and he gave me this huge Gatorade container filled with plastic forks, paper plates, napkins, powdered Gatorade, Kool-Aid, uh, ketchup packets, mayonnaise packets, mustard packets, and he said, "Have a good time." That's awesome. And it was the third, three days after I met him. That was definitely my fondest memory of Uncle Jack. I distinctly remember Rod Talk just like it. talking to me, being like, "You know what? If you need anything, if you need me to kill him, do anything, I will go to his house right now and I will take care of him." Uh, in regards to Worm, Matt, my dad loved, loves Matt, loved Matt, loves him, still loves him, still loves him. He's around because he's around. I don't remember specifically, this was a long time ago, but probably like 10 years ago, 11 years ago maybe, me, Matt, and my dad went to a Yankee game together. We took a, we drove to somewhere in New York and we took a train and we went to a Yankee game together and we had so much fun. And actually the Yankees were losing and it was like the last period, what is it in? Uh, the last inning? Inning. Baseball. <laughs> I'm really. <laughs> it was the last inning, and that they was ended hockey up, you were taking off. Okay. And it ended up. They ended up coming back and winning. And I can just say that Brandy. I think that my dad would be so happy that you're ending up with someone that he loves and like approves of, and he loves Worm. And I think that Worm and Dad talked about like growing their own weed farm or something. <laughs> I don't know. There was this time where um, the girls came to our house, and they said that some guy was bothering them. So Rock came down to my house and said, Corey, we got to go find this guy. And he had a baseball bat. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go with you. Let me get my stick. So we ran up the hill. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we went searching for this guy because we were going to kick his ass. Yeah, yeah. But little did you know, me, Brandy, and Angel probably were instigated the entire so thing. Probably, no, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And crop this part, okay? <laughs> Do you have any memory of dad or anything that you want to, anything? I do. Uh, let's see. He was, he was hilarious and he produced three amazing daughters who were my favorite students ever. Nice. Ever, ever. Say even more than the bottoms. Even more than the bottoms. I mean, yeah. They don't even, they're Stupid like bottoms. not even in the top ten. <laughs> but yes, uh, one time we were on a field trip together. Who, who went on a field trip? Some Where's year. Some year we were on a field trip, and he and I were sitting together on the bus. Oh, Master and Commander. Master and Commander. We went to, and we went, we went to the Moby Dick right. House. He loved it. We hung out it. at the Moby Dick House, and he and I talked the whole way down, and it was good times, and so I funny. missed the guy. Yeah. Yeah. This is the second collage. Collagio number two. Any favorites? I always love this with us sleeping on the bed. And the First cat. of all, my boobs look big, so and hey, the, I'll always say that one. I like that one. And I love the picture of you girls. And I love this wedding picture of mine. Basically, I love all the pictures. Hey, you never know. No, it's the dad's turn. Sorry. Uh, I'm thankful that we're, mm -hmm. that we're that we're well met. We're here in this timeless time. In this one point, this whole cosmos, we're here <laughs> hanging out together. After all these years, we're still together. <laughs> That's not 
Even when we visit their apartment. <laughs>